What is up everyone, it's Andrew here from MAO Magic with the Shine from Misfit Wearables. And this is another activity tracker, activity monitor device like the Jawbone Up, the Nike Fuel Band, the Basis, the, there's a, so many of them anymore it's hard to keep track. But what's supposed to set this one apart is the Shine is really design focused as well as activity focused. So we'll kind of go through everything here. But let's open it up and see how it all plays out. The product that I bought was from the Apple Store, which was 119, and it includes the sport bands compared to 99 straight from Misfit Wearables, which does not include the sport band. So you gotta it's pretty much the same thing. The sport band's 20 bucks by itself. So either way, you get a battery tool, battery removal, insertion turl tool uh, that pretty much pops up in the back to replace the battery. You have the actual sports band here you have a uh, magnetic clasp this is what they'll all come with uh, whether it's from the apple store or from misfit wearables this is kind of the basic one has a loop for the shine and a magnet on the bottom uh, and the aforementioned sports band which is just kind of a rubber bracelet so let's actually look at the shine now uh, on the back of this plate there's kind of basic instructions you can just kind of bend in push the shine out and just falls out make sure you do it over something not over like Something that you're gonna lose it because it is small. It's actually kind of hard to get on this camera uh, with such a shallow range of focus. Anyway, so as you can see uh, at the top here, we have the number 12, which is kind of how to orient your device because it does tell time if you want it to. It also has the Misfit Wearables logo on the back. The back of it is slightly flattened. You can see we have this polished groove around the edges, which can help it kind of attach to all the accessories. Uh, you can see here that it's literally the size of a quarter. Slightly larger, so I guess not literal, literally, but very close to the size of a quarter. It's very small. Uh, it's pretty nice. So if you want to replace the battery or when you first get it, you're going to have to put the battery in for the first time. There's just a little groove there. You just kind of insert the tool into it and pry and it'll pop that back open. And I was kind of worried, I'm like, oh, how waterproof can this actually be? But it is. It is waterproof to five atmospheres, 150 feet. You can go scuba diving with this thing. Yeah, I might be trying that out. So, we also have here the, this is the first kind of way you can wear the device is through the magnet. Obviously, keep away from computers, pacemakers, babies, whatever. Uh, so, it's basically just a magnet with a piece of silicone and it attaches to the back of the shine. And there's this ring, which is kind of how it, how it attaches to all the accessories. It just kind of goes around the edge. This slightly worries me. I don't know how, I mean, so far I haven't had any issues for a few weeks. But that could totally break. But they say they're built to be pretty strong and rugged, so I guess we'll see. I haven't had any issues. I kind of worry about this small magnet clip you know, where it's going to fall off somewhere because they say, oh, you can put it in your shoe. Uh, I'm totally scared I'm going to leave it in a pocket or something. So I prefer the sports band, which is kind of like a watch band except for kind of thin, rubbery. Uh, so make sure you put it on how you want to make sure you have like the right. I put the put on my left wrist, the clasp on the top and just you put the one side and then you slide the other side around and the actual middle, the shine itself can rotate to make sure it's aligned, make sure that the uh, 12 is on top. Otherwise your time is going to be upside down, which is not as useful as you might think. So let's go ahead and put this on. It's pretty easy, you kind of slide the clasp through the loop, then put it on your wrist and tighten it as much as you see fit. It's, if you've worn a watch, you can probably figure this out. So we're not gonna spend a lot of time doing that. So let's move on. So two taps is gonna tell you the time and your distance so far. So there's your percentage. Now here, there's the hour. So two, and then it goes 28. Because there was three flashes at the minute hand. And then if you tap it three times, that's gonna be your activity tracker, whether it's sleeping, tennis, uh, stuff like that. And it does that little animation, that little light show for you. That's pretty much how you know uh, you've activated it. You don't have to turn that off. You kind of figure that out or should figure that out. Uh, let's go into syncing this thing, which is kind of weird. Could be good, could be bad, depending on who you are. Some people don't like it. Other people do like it. I thought it was kind of a cool idea. But anyway, here's the app. It's kind of really bare bones app. Not a great fan. It's designed pretty cool. Anyway, to sync your shine, you just place it on the screen of your phone. That's it. 
and it just goes, woo, let's go, and then starts singing. Your lights are gonna start flashing, you're like, yeah, let's go. And it starts going and going and going. It doesn't take long, it takes a few seconds. Uh, could be more or less convenient, depending on who you are compared to a Jawbone Up or a Nike Fuel Band. This battery in here will last four months, so you don't have to charge it, but you have to buy like a CR2302 watch battery. You do have to have your Bluetooth on for this. It kind of uses Bluetooth low energy to kind of data assist the sync. Uh, it does track your sleep, just like the Jawbone Up, like the Nike Fuel Band does not do, but it's not great, but they have promised new sleeping features in the future. They kind of tease that, so it's kind of coming. We don't know what it's gonna be. Right now it does deep sleep versus light sleep, and that's about it, but I guess we will see. So here you can change your goals. Uh, these are shine points, not actual steps. Uh, 1,000 shine points, like 8,000 steps, something like that, an hour and a half of walking. You can turn on your clock, you can turn on the activity tracker, which is on by default, but you have to set it to which one you want. It starts off on sleep, but you can do cycling, swimming, tennis, basketball, football, all that kind of good stuff. And they have added at least three since the launch. So here's hoping that activity tracking is kind of built up. Right now, you also have to switch it between each. So you have to kind of, if I'm gonna go play a basketball, you open the app, turn that on, then go play basketball, start the activity when you get there, get home, make sure you switch it back to sleep for getting in bed. Kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Also, some people were complaining that you can't sync shine without taking it off and undoing the band. That's bull crap. It uses Bluetooth energy. You can kind of leave it on your wrist and just kind of put the app close to it. It'll get going and you're fine. So syncing is pretty easy. Uh, it kind of stacks up okay. It's, it's pretty but dumb. There's not a lot of features yet to it compared to the Jawbone, compared to the Nike Fuel Band, but it does have promise and it is getting new features, you know, consistently. I do like that it has the LEDs. I like that it does not have to charge. I like that it has more activities than several other bands, but I don't like that it does not switch. I don't like that the taps don't always, they're not super accurate. So sometimes I like wanna see, turn on an activity or something, but then it goes and tells you the time. I'm like, oh my God, and you have to wait 10 seconds for that to happen. But either way, I really like it. If you're into it, check it out. It's hundred bucks or 120 at the Apple store. If you have any questions, throw them up in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and check me out next time. Thanks guys.